Hello and welcome to Chemix. Today we'll be purifying and drying the diethyl ether we made in our previous video. First off, a couple of notes on purification. Our ether is freshly made, so we don't have to worry about this, but if your ether has been stored for a longer time, there will be some hydroperoxides and peroxides inside. So to get rid of these, you can wash your ether with a solution of iron 2 sulfate. Since mine is freshly prepared, I don't have to bother with this, and we can proceed to the next step, which is the actual drying. As for everything, there are a couple of ways to dry diethyl ether, but in my opinion the best and most convenient method is using molecular sieves. So therefore I here have some molecular sieves 4A. And the 4A refers to the pore size, and this is the correct one to dry diethyl ether, since the ether molecule is bigger than the pore and the water molecule is smaller than the pore, thus only the water is being absorbed. Actually drying the ether is very easy and we simply have to add some molecular sieves into our ether. One thing to note is that you might want to chill your ether beforehand since the absorption of water by the molecular sieves is exothermic. So without further ado, let's just put an arbitrary amount of molecular sieves into this diethyl ether. Okay, so we're pretty much done here and all we have to do is let the ether sit on top of the molecular sieves for a while and then I'll probably transfer it into another bottle onto some new sieves. The ether has been sitting over some molecular sieves in the freezer for three days now, so it's time to transfer it into a storage bottle. First I'll add some fresh molecular sieves to the storage bottle so our ether remains dry. I plug the filter with a little cotton ball so our molecular cysts remain in the filter. So with that in place, let's transfer our diethyl ether. This is our final yield of pretty much dry diethyl ether. I'm going to use this as the solvent in a Grignard reaction in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. That's it for today. As always, I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Give me a thumbs up if you want and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.